Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this review we have a J13-ish in the tier 7. A British medium tank. It is the Comet, which is one of my favorites at tier 7. I mean, this vehicle is pretty fast. Um, it has like 51-ish kilometers an hour top speed. It's 51 and a half, I think, which is kind of weird having that and a half. Uh, but with the lovely power to weight of around 20 horsepower per ton base, you will get around the battlefield rather quickly, even if you don't go with a, a turbo like J13 ish thing over here. Going with vents, vents tabs, and a gun rammer. A very kind of classic um, type of medium tank loadout, I guess. But yeah, the Comet. Why do I like the Comet? Well, this vehicle has amazing DPM, it fires really quickly, you know, doing that 140 damage. The pen is not the best, 148. Gold rounds are okay with 208, but like it, it just fires constantly. You have 12 degrees of gun depression, which make you just very versatile in many different areas, on many different maps. Um, 380 view range, which is very decent for 87 medium, and it just like if you get into a good position, you can do a lot of damage even against you know tier eight and nine vehicles. If you're able to catch them in the side or the rear. But no tier 8, no tier 9 vehicles in this battle, only tier 7 and 6, and they'll get one to the T-52, trying to push towards the center. And yeah, okay, J-13-ish is in a platoon in this battle with Hound showing the Comet as well, and Archie WC, and my most played vehicle ever, the T-29, which is another very lovely uh, tier 7 vehicle. So, yeah, overall, this platoon is, is just so deadly in this sort of matchup. Hopefully they will be able to show you exactly how deadly they can be. There we go, J13 ish going out of this T20 of it, putting one into the side. Two into the side, don't want to get hit by the T20, that vehicle has a chunky boy gun. 240 volumes they can add for damage, which is not something you want to get hit by at tier 7. But Archie flanking around in the T29, getting the kill on the T20 over there. And there we go. There it is, uh, and they kind of won the south already, I mean, it was only one vehicle here, so we have no idea where the enemy team is. Usually you see a lot of people going towards the southwestern corner fighting it out, but in this battle, for some reason, there's like, no one. But there we go, Tiger P, BZ58, T34-1, a lot of those T7 vehicles are over there, need to watch out, probably got spotted by the T345M, switching to the gold rounds, they were able to go through that very dangerous T6. A Russian a premium a medium a tank. The T-3045M is like look very deadly. Very, very deadly, so you do need to watch out. You do need to finish off these vehicles as quickly as possible. The J-13 airship over here. Just trying to find the people to shoot, trying to find the angle to shoot at someone. Try to use that amazing DPM and there we go. There we go. We can kind of spot it out here. We're using the double bush mechanic over here. Which is you can spot through the transparent bush, then you fall back until it's no longer transparent. And then when you shoot, you retain the camo rating. Unfortunately, you can't finish the Yank Panzer that shell. So you need to find another one over there. Kind of a... I wouldn't... I would like to see the regular rounds being fired over here. But never mind. Into the T-345 and secure the kill over there. Get the second kill of the battle. And it just shows you how crazy this vehicle is. In the right situation. You know, using that amazing DPM that it has to just shred through the Yank Panzer full. Lovely stuff, a lovely stuff by J13-ish. Actually going up on the hill here. Maybe we can see those lovely 12 degrees of gun depression in action soon. Even though they did move the um, the snipey spot from over here, this area used to be a lot more open. You can actually sit over there and shoot down into all the advancing enemies. But as you can see, J13-ish is like, what? What, what happened to my lovely area? And yeah, Wargaming actually added these rocks over here to block you from shooting down into the advancing people. So, need to find a different angle to get to the Cheeto SP. Probably the best vehicle at tier 7 at the moment. And the Tiger P, the tier 7, a German heavy tank. 1-1 one, one to the Cheeto SP to finish it off, and there we go, getting the kill. T-34-1 pushing as well. 1 to the T-34-1, pushing it right through the vehicle. Unfortunately, the Comet doesn't really have any armor. So every single shot is most likely going to go through this vehicle. Now in a 1v1 with the tank, we luckily Archie noticed what is happening. Archie's going back to base, supporting J13-ish over here, putting one to the side of the Tiger P, which will hopefully 
turned around to face him. There we go. One into the side of the Tiger B. Two, and it's just, this is exactly where you want to be with your Comet, as you can see. 12 degrees of ground depression, like I said, multiple times already. Amazing DPM, like I said, multiple times already. And you just farm. And you just farm right now. There we go. There it is, getting the fifth kill of this battle. And here is the top gun against the Tiger P. And yeah, it's just it's just the perfect vehicle for this position. Like, I can't say enough in about the 12 degrees of gun depression. It's just insane. It's just absolutely insane. And you can take this vehicle to so many different positions because of that. And I love this play once again. Going behind the bush, you don't want to get spotted right here. You don't want to lose any hit points. One into the IS. Unfortunately, the IS is kind of streaky, sneaky, knows where the shots came from. But there we go. There it is. Into the turret. A second one. Unfortunately, ricochets off the turret, maybe? And actually missing this one? You can do it. You can do it. There we go. There we go. There's the shell. And another one into the IS. Lovely stuff. A lovely stuff over here. But it's uh, the platoon with the Type 58 in the support against six of the enemy vehicles. What are they going to do? Is the J13-ish going to just carry this team to victory? Unfortunately, they, the enemy team is rushing. How showing the corner towards the southwest and falls to the T150 on the enemy team. But there we go. There's the ice once again. What is the ice going to do? He's pushing forwards. Try and find a shot into the hull. I would actually go into the turret. There we go. Turret of the IS is very weak. The uh, the hull is very troll on that vehicle. So you do need to watch out where you are firing against the IS. You're going for a blind, sh blind shot against the Time 58. We'll have to see later if that will hit. How much how much HP did he have? 222. But there we go. T-150 spotted one into the Capola. I guess that was a weird one. Bouncing off of the upper hull. Missing the third shot. My goodness, aim a bit more. There it is. One more into the hull is all we need. One oh, just just into the turret, I guess. Finishing off the T-150, getting revenge for how shown from earlier. And there we go. I is turning towards Archie. And now it is farm time. It is farm time. The amazing DPM. And the lovely positioning. The ice can't see us through the bush. And it's an easy kill. Eighth kill of the game, securing that Radley Walters. But there's still four vehicles left on the enemy team. There we go. Archie getting rushed by the SD of M4257. Finishing off the SDRV over there. And making it a 2v3. Lovely teamwork by Archie and by G13. Now there we go. Back into the turret. 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 Back and J13-ish is able to finish off the tier 6 American artillery. Up to 9 kills and 4,000 damage in this battle. Just crazy stuff. There's a Type 58 unfortunately hitting J13-ish over here. Damaging the gunner damage. Oh my goodness. And stun as well. A lot of stuff at the same time. And the Type 58 runs away without taking any damage. And the blind shot actually didn't hit. We can see right now. 222 HP still. But there we go. Pushing forwards. The Type 58 can't one shot us over here. Unless he actually sets us on fire. Never want that. Especially when you have the, uh, the premium consumable. And no fire extinguisher. So need to watch out. J13-ish pushing forwards. Trying to find the Type 58. Archie's pushing from the other side. Trying to catch the Type 58 in a pincer maneuver over here. Where is the Type? There he is. One into the back side. Can we get a 7 one in? There we go. Easy 10th kill. Pools medal secured. 4.3k damage over here. And the only vehicle remaining is the enemy M12, the tier 7 American self-propelled gun. As you can see, Archie is very happy with the result over here, just firing into the sky. Kind of like a saluting with the gun, I guess. While we have J13-ish just driving next to them like a you did well you did well my platoon mate i salute you sir type of thing <laughs> with a t29 which was lovely uh, but yeah there's still a vehicle there's still a vehicle left can't do, do, can't stay calm do, do we need to keep focused my goodness bafish keep focused <laughs> oh no that m12 does have a bit of mobility so you know it can run away 
Stay calm, stay connected, maybe go and cap the base, force the M12 to show themselves. What is J13 Ash going to do over here? Getting close to that arty, arty cove, the arty nest. Not spotted, doesn't spot anything. Trying to avoid the cap circle, but not to let the artillery know exactly where we are. Is it on the little ridge line? Is it? Searching for that M12. Where is that cheeky tier 7 artillery? It can't be anywhere right now. It doesn't seem like the M12 is on the ridge line. So, like, the only thing that makes sense is that the M12 pushed through the north and is now either making their way towards the center of the map or they pushed all the way and are going towards the cap of the J13-ish and Archie. But there we go, Archie just going into the cap circle over here. Starting the countdown, you know, secure the win. Securing the win is the most important thing. First things first. <laughs> woof, woof, says Hap Show in the chat. Oh my goodness, this platoon. This platoon is lovely. Uh, okay, enemies capping the base. Looks like the M12 has actually made the push through the east into the cap circle, but they left the cap circle. Where did they go to? Okay, so now now there's so many possibilities. So many possibilities. Like, the M12 might fall back through the east again. Go through the middle, try and defend the base. They can try and go through the bridge all the way south. They might push on the hill. Too many options. Too many options. What is J13-ish going to do? Archie actually left the cap circle for a second there, resetting it. Okay. Okay. Maybe they want the 11th kill for J13. We do not know, but where is the M12? Three minutes actually left on the uh, on the battle, so... We need to find the M12 quickly. We need to find it quickly. If it can actually go towards Archie over here and reset the cap once and run away, that is going to be a disaster. That is going to be awful. Where does J13 think the artillery is? Up in the hill, actually taking our position? Is that what you think, J13-ish? And it actually is correct. There's the M12, unfortunately missing the first shell. Trying to go into the track over here. Second shell connects. Unfortunately, the M12 is not tracked. Can put a shell in, but he does not penetrate. And it is an easy peasy. 11th kill, 4,649 damage. With the tier 7 British medium tank, the Comet, which is just lovely, as it's just... Just look at the gun depression on this thing. <laughs> did get hit by the RT. Did get penned by multiple vehicles. But overall, I mean, this is just a lovely game by G13 over here. Using the health issue down with the lovely 12 degrees into everything that pushed forwards. And then just pushing forwards, finishing off everyone towards the center of the map. And it was just a perfect game. Perfect game for the Comet, using it exactly like you should need to find those ridge lines to fight on use the dpm out dpm your opponent don't let them hit you if you can you know wiggle your vehicle backwards and forwards hide as much as you can with the gun depression and yeah this is just what the comet does this is just what the comet can do 11 kills 4649 damage like i said and an awesome all-round game so, GG, J13 Ash and their platoon mates, Archie in the T29, and Hao Show in the comment. They actually got 14 kills between them, which is ridiculous. It's, it's like everyone but the one killed by the T30.5M. Uh, but how ridiculous was this battle? Let's just go and check the post game stats real quick. There we go. Easy Ace Tanker, obviously, for the 1991 base experience earned over here getting a bunch of medals the Pascucci's medal for destroying the two artillery the m44 and the m12 um, a pulse medal for destroying 10 or more vehicles 11 actually crucial contribution for a platoon that destroyed at least 12 of the enemy vehicles over here we actually have 11 13 14 total vehicles destroyed by the lovely platoon um high caliber for the 4,649 damage dealt and a top gun for, you know, more than six kills, almost a double top gun over here. So GG, well played. As you can see, just amazing stuff by uh, J13-ish, by Archie 
over here, supported by House Show, another comment, GG's. 49 shells fired, 42 hit, 39 penetrated. Lovely stuff over here, like we said, 4,649 damage dealt. Four hits received, three of those penetrated, two actually were artillery, I guess, so it was really surprising that they didn't all pen, but you know, Artie doesn't pen really well these days anyway. Anyway, three enemy vehicles spotted, 13 of the enemy vehicles damaged, that's all but two. 469 nice damage caused due to the player's assistance, five defense points and five kilometers traveled. So overall, really lovely game for the Comet, making a 53,000 uh, credit profit over here, which is always nice. I mean, it's not a premium tank, so just getting any profit is lovely with any tech tree vehicle. So 7,916 total XP, 750 free XP, which is always delicious as well. And yeah, this is pretty much it. GG, well played, j 13 ish absolutely crazy stuff over here. 11 kills is always ridiculous. It's actually uh, more than my record of 10. <laughs> so yeah, well played, GG's. And yeah, this is it for this video. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the comment? Do you think it's good? bad okay let me know your thoughts your opinions on the vehicle on the battle on whatever it is that you like and yeah thank you so much everyone for watching you're awesome stay awesome stay safe and hopefully i will see you all in the next video tell people have a good one